they entered joyfully and exultantly into the region of Hermopolis. And as Jesus was walking through a field of grain, he reached out his hand and grabbed hold of some ears. After roasting them upon a fire, he crushed them and ate. They then entered the Egyptian city of Sotinan. Now since there was no one there from whom they knew to seek hospitality, they went into a certain temple known as the Egyptian Capitol Building. Three hundred and sixty-five idols had been set up in that place, each receiving religious devotion and hallowed rituals on its particular day. The Egyptians who lived in that town would enter into the capital, where the priests would tell them how many sacrifices to offer up that day, corresponding to the regard in which the god was held. And it happened that, as soon as Mary took the young boy into the temple, every idol in that place fell flat on its face, and each of them was lying there face down on the floor, smashed and demolished in a show of their powerlessness. Then was fulfilled the word of the prophet Isaiah, Behold, the Lord will enter Egypt on a swift cloud, and all that the Egyptians have crafted will be cleared away at his coming. And when that city's ruler, Aphrodosius, was notified, he and his entire army marched toward the temple. And when the temple priests caught sight of Aphrodosius entering into that place, in the full strength of his military might, they felt certain that he would retaliate against those who had overthrown the idols. But when he entered into the temple and saw all of the gods lying there face down, Aphrodosius went up to Mary, who was holding Jesus in her arms, and worshipped him. Then he confessed to his army and his supporters, Our gods would never have fallen in his presence, nor would they have remained here prostrated before him, unless he were God over our gods. So even though they cannot speak, they silently acknowledge his lordship. If we should fail to do as we see our own gods doing, then we are all in danger of infuriating him and being devastated like Pharaoh, king of the Egyptians, who drowned with his whole army in the sea for not acknowledging such a masterful authority. Then everyone in that place put their faith in the Lord God through Jesus Christ.